Arkansas Lottery. That's the one that yeah. everybody's wanting to talk oh, about. Oh, man, lottery. Yeah, it. you can win. You got to play to win. <laughs> how'd you end up? How'd well, you end Larry up Walter Arkansas? called me and said, I need you to help me uh, over at the lottery. You're going in as sales director, and I need you to do this, this, and this. And Okay. was met happily with Bishop Woosley, the director, and we set about trying to learn it. I mean, I couldn't spell lottery when I got there, but <laughs> I did know something about taking a number of people and and uh, and moving them in a certain direction. I guess that's all what a newsroom is. Uh, so I learned lottery for about six months. They brought in a teacher for me, a, an old school, used to be a director in uh, in uh, lottery in, in California and Oregon, Tony Monica, who became a quick, fast friend and taught me lottery. And six months afterwards, I invited the staff to allow me to lead them. And there were 24 people and and we did it. We set a sales record a couple of years later. Taught me lottery. Well, you mean? got two kinds. You got the scratch and you got the draw games. And oh. the big draw games are the odds of you winning a Powerball like we had this week, the billion dollars uh, would be, uh, and every ticket has the same, no matter how many you buy. It's It increases your chances. It doesn't increase your odds. So it's 194 million to one, roughly. <laughs> so it's like taking everybody's phone number, putting them in a barrel, and they're sticking yours out there, so. Somebody's going to win, perhaps. But, you know, even on these big ones, they don't tell you how many numbers are covered generally, but the gaming directors know, and we don't, they don't publicize it. But for that big that first one, 2016, it was a, the first billion-dollar mm -hmm. one, there were still 16% of the numbers not bought. So there was a 16% chance it was going to roll again. And we didn't want it to roll. You don't, you don't want these huge jackpots. You'd rather have a bunch of them at 300, 400, and you can advertise for that. Mm -hmm. But there were three things that made us set sales records. Uh, we got the sales part of it right, and uh, Bishop and his uh, gaming director, Mike Smith, got the tickets right. Uh, Mike's a genius when it comes to the design of the tickets, and his his next guy, Bob Coleman, they're, just, they're worth their weight in gold. Uh, and the tickets are inviting and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then the advertising, CGRW did the advertising, and it was extremely effective. And it's all about winners and people who want to win and people who want to hear about other winners. And, oh, by the way, it's for a good cause. So they got that formula right, so it all hit. Waymack and those bunch, Waymack and crew did the creative for it, along with Wade McEwen, and it was just magnificent. And I think it's still great advertising. Great advertising. Well, yeah, I think that's, you know, you have to be careful how you advertise the lottery to, to people gambling. because, well, it's gambling, but also, too, you you know, you don't want to hype them up to, you know, say anything to get them to buy, um, you know. Bill your, Clinton was not like, in favor of lottery, Arkansas Well, it's, lottery. it's, it's people see it as a regressive tax. I mean, I'm in the stores. I was sales director that actually went to the stores, so, uh, you know, I've been seven or eight hundred of the nineteen hundred. You ever buy lottery tickets? Yeah, occasionally, like like every dummy. <laughs> I tease, but yes. it's a game. You know, you don't play more than you want. You, 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 your chances are you're going to break even, or okay, but you might win. So you get five hundred dollar tickets. These people that 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 spend a lot and expect that that's a strategy for wealth, then it's trouble. I I would suggest people like to play draw games. Pick your six numbers, buy them out for six, well, I think three months we can do it here. And then watch your number every week. That's fun. You're playing your number every week. And that's that's the original numbers game that the mob handled. So really the, the governments took away the mob's numbers racket. Right. So play three, play four. If you want to win, play a little bit. Play, play Which one plays better? Cash three, cash four. You're going to win some because it's only four numbers or three numbers. And it may not pay much, but it might, you know, my numbers came in. And you get to play again. Well, you if you win a little bit, you get to play over and over and over, which kind of makes it fun. So That's right. So do the numbers game. Do three or four. Don't plunge. Don't spend way too much. If you if there's a billion dollars, okay, spend 20. But always, always get the power play or the mega number. What's it called? How quickly you forget? Multiplier. Multiplier, because if, if you get five, then that's a million dollars. And if you get the multiplier, then it turns into... Two, three, or four million, or whatever it is. So, so like yesterday, I went and bought in, in your honor. I went and bought uh, Arkansas lottery, and I spent ten dollars. So I got. Was it a scratch ticket or was it a? It's a scratch. It, no, it's a, it's a draw. Oh, it's one you put in the machine. And it tells you if you won or not. What's that? 
it's a it's a ticket. It's a ticket. Okay. Well, that's a Powerball or Mega Millions, or it could be a natural state jackpot. Or there's a new game now. It was called Arkansas Lottery or something. Well, so it's what, all so it wasn't a scratch off. And then then there's that one that you put in the machine. Mm -hmm. And then what's another one? I don't so know. Another but, kind? I don't know, but there's a helpline if you need to call it. It's the number. <laughs> I do. The number's on there. <laughs> Confusing, and Wait. some of these people say, "Oh, I don't have an education; I can't get a job." And you're like, "Well, hell, they can figure out lottery and how to bet better That's than right. I can." And That's I right. own a company for forty years, and I'm like, "I'm in there with the guy from from uh, Iran trying to figure out what to buy and how to buy." And he's having to explain it to me, and he can hardly speak English. And when we put my thing in there last time, I stuck my card in there the last time. I said, "Well, what am I?" He goes, "You're a loser." I said, "You just call oh, me a loser." He goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. Your ticket's a loser. Thank you for correcting me." <laughs> Yeah, see, so I've been in line before to get see guys buy scratch off tickets, and they're so tuned in to whether or not it's a winning ticket, they don't bother to scratch it off. They don't care about the drama of whether they matched it up. All they do is scratch the uh, very bottom the of it, the very bottom of it, and then see if it won. Yeah. If not, throw it aside. Do another. I know. Just, what is that? that well, that, those are the scratch off tickets. What they're designed to be a fun game. Oh, but you don't have to scratch the top off. No, no. all you got to do is just oh. scan that barcode. Just scan the barcode at the bottom, and it'll tell you. Well, yeah, I'm going to do that because they make a mess. They do make a mess. And when you put them in the car with your grandkids and you let them do it, it's just like a mess. Well, when they brought medical marijuana, my idea was to make a ticket called Hash Cash <laughs> where you could scratch it and then you could smoke the <laughs> shit that comes off of it. <laughs> they didn't That's like that idea. a million idea. dollar idea right well, there. Well, that's what I'm thinking, yeah, huh? That is, that is great. Yeah. Okay, you told me this in the alley one day when you first got that job. I said, "What do I do? I like this. I like to go in there and do the scratch offs." You say, "Buy the ten dollar ones." Yeah, and always buy three. Well, I always buy three, but you know the the pack players are the ones that have the best chance because that what's a, a pack player? A pack player. There's thirty ten dollar tickets in a pack. Oh, and inside that is called a GLEP, a guaranteed low end prize. There you go. It's a number that's not secret, but it usually runs about 120, 140. Yep, that's and these what are all I numbers I, yeah. I of that in that whole pack. So really, you're not betting 300; you're betting roughly 160. That one of those is going to be a big winner in there, and and sometimes, you know, you never know where they are because they're clustered in some and not in others. But there's some guaranteed low end prize in that pack. Now twenties are now. Six hundred dollars a pack because we we uh, we doubled those up. But the pack players are the ones. Which that, one are the pack players? Tens and twenty dollars. Well, the people that go around and buy packs. Oh, I see. So what they'll do is they'll come down this and they'll watch on the computer. They'll see where the prizes. Okay, are the prizes still in this one game? And maybe they're starting to run out of the game. It's it's old. And but yet there's a million dollar ticket still in it. Gotcha. So then they talk to their lottery reps or whatever, because it's not a secret where the games are. They'll say where where are these games at, and we tell the we tell uh, the, the retailers know if they have that game or not, and they oh. try to they try to order more of them, and then when they can't order more, they try to get their reps to get them more. And it's just a it's a game. Of some owners and chains are more aggressive with lottery than others. Oh. And so oh, can I you bet go, my little guy's not very aggressive. I need to go change my 7-Eleven well, store. It, you just never know where they're going to come. We had a guy that bought a ticket in a, uh, a TVM, which is a ticket vending machine. They're in Walmarts. And at the time, we only had 115 of them and only, uh, you know, very low amount of the tickets are sold out of them percentage-wise for the rest of the state. But he, he bought one ticket in the Conway uh, grocery store, neighborhood market. And he's a $20 ticket, and he scratched it, and he, he said, I don't know. He said, so he tossed it in his truck, and his brother's in there. And, and so the next morning, they get up to go uh, to work, and he said, did, did I win anything on that? I can't tell. He said, well, you didn't scratch it all off. So he scratched it to the bottom bar a little bit more. And he said, I don't know. It says M-I-L. Is that a, what is that? Is that a, he said, well, let's go by there. So they were close to downtown. They drove, pulled by the, state, uh, at the, the office, and they looked at it. That's a million-dollar winner. Oh. oh. And after tax, it's six hundred and eighty thousand dollars, roughly. I'll so we it. handed him a check for six hundred and eighty thousand dollars. And his brother's like, of course they're in shock when you Yeah. They can't believe and it, you'll see them, they'll sit there for a minute, because it takes about thirty minutes to do all the paperwork and check the check everything, make sure it's correct. And and uh, they'll and you see it hit them every once in a while. Like, God, his brother was like, Man, you don't tell anybody. <laughs> We can't, we can't tell anybody. Right. Okay, you understand that, right? We're not, we're not going home. We're not telling anybody. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. And the ne he was taking his family to to, to uh, Florida the next day down to to. Uh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I said, you know, anybody. I said, 
you know, you, you're going to get a check for 680000 I said, your bank's probably closed by now. He said, no, I got our vest. They're open at seven. I said, <laughs> they'd take you $10,000 out. When you get back, you'll still have $670,000. I said, go get them a big old charter boat and go fish. And he said, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That is the way to So you it. see these people and it's, it's magical to them. And the people that run two or three million. And then, of course, the big ones sometimes. Mm. So, yeah, it's good. But there's a lot of people that sink a lot of money into it. And sure. I understand it as a game. But if if you think you're going to get rich off of it, just just don't do it. Yeah. I'm just asking for a friend. Yeah. Where, can, where can you buy the packs? Can you get those from a regular you, retailer? Yeah, ask a retailer. Do you have a pack of those? Okay. How all much right. does a pack cost? Well, 300 for all the games except the 20s. And it's 600. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the picture in the center of the screen. For more at Carrie's interviews, click either video on the right of the screen. And as always, thank you for watching.